What's up guys welcome to my new video and this video is all about how you will solve a knapsack problem using branch and bound. So this is the problem we have four objects and we have to choose uh, the number of objects in such a way that uh, the total weight of those objects will be less than 15. So let's get started with the branch and bound thing. So in branch and bound what we do uh, we select the objects and uh, we you know we check if the object is selected then what will be the maximum cost and uh, if you if you don't select that object then what the maximum cost will be so if if we, if i select this first object then i will check for uh, for the maximum capacity for the by adding the next object so first object's weight is 2 then i will add it with 4 it will be 6 and 6 plus 6 it will be 12 then I will not add this fourth object because it will exceed the capacity then uh, the maximum profit will be 10 plus 10 plus 12 it will be 32 then what I will do I will uh, you know I will write this 32 as upper bound and then I will check what will be the maximum co minimum cost if I don't take uh, if I consider the fraction part as well so if I take the remaining three weight from this fourth object and I and I cal calculate the profit and it will be 3 by 9 into 18 it will be 6 then I will add it with this upper bound it will, it will become 30 38 and I am taking this negative intentionally because uh, in branch and bound we calculate the least cost the least cost you know we will look at it afterwards so after calculating this what we will do we will check if i don't consider this first element what will be the upper bound you know what will be the upper bound for this so I, if i don't take this 10 then uh, we will take this second third and fourth so weight will be 4 plus 6 10 but if i take this fourth element it will exceed the capacity so the profit will be 10 plus 12 will be 22 so upper bound is 22 and if i consider the fractional part as well it will become Five, we will take the 5 weight from the 4th element so 5 by 9 into 18 so it will be 10 so 22 plus 10 will be 32 so if I don't take this first element I will I am getting upper bound as minus 22 and cost upper uh, least cost as minus 32 and if I consider this first I will get the same result 38 and 32 which I was getting in the initial initial state so we have to decide which you know if, if we are going to take the first element or we are going to skip that first element uh, we will look at this upper bound we will choose that upper bound you know we will choose that condition where the upper upper bound is minimum you know minus 32 is less than minus 22 so we, we are we will eliminate this this condition you know which means we are taking first element you know after taking first element we will check for the second element so if we take this second element then upper bound will be same as that of this second condition you know but if we don't take this then our uh, profit will be 10 plus 12 you know 2 plus 6 and uh, 8 it, we, we will not take this 4 because 8 plus 9 exceeds maximum capacity so in that case the upper bound will be 10 plus 12 which is again 22 which is again 22 and uh, if you consider the fractional part then we have, we have to take uh, 7 7 from the remaining fourth object so 7 by 9 into 18 so profit will be 14 from the remaining fourth we will add this 14 to this 12 that will become 22 so now we will we check which is minimum this minus 22 is minimum or minus 32 is minimum so in this case minus 32 is minimum so we take this second element and we eliminate this condition as well now after uh, taking first and second element in the sack we will check if we can take this third you know so for that we calculate the upper bound if we if we consider this the upper bound will be same as that of the earlier one but if we don't take this third 
then the upper bound will be 10 plus 10 12 and uh, weight will be 2 plus 4 6 and in this case 6 plus 9 is <coughs> is equal to 15 you know so 15 uh, so it satisfies the condition so then we add this profit 8 18 to this uh, 20 so 10 plus 10 plus 18 equals 38 so upper bound is more negative than this condition it is more negative than the earlier one so we don't take the third element we don't take this third element we take we have already taken first and second now we have we have decided we are not going to take this third one not going to take this this third element then we will check for the fourth if we don't take this fourth our profit will be 10 plus 10 20 as we have already decided that we are not going to take this third then our profit is 20 and uh, this is this this case and if we take this fourth element our profit will become 38 you know which is uh, equal to the earlier earlier case so we don't take we don't consider this this case and we have reached the final element so our maximum profit is 38 you know i have taken this negative intentionally because when you code this thing you are checking for these negative values you know which one is lesser so in this case minus 38 is lesser and uh, we have we got the you know vector which is 1101 1, 1. so we will take this 1 1 we are not going to take this thing so 0 oh, I don't know how to do that so again we are we are taking this fourth element so 1 we have 1 1 0 1 so in this way it works so thanks for watching guys and do subscribe